Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you'll enjoy this project so much that you will click that subscribe button at the end. And to all my subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming out every week and watch my videos and send me comments and inspire me to create more. With that being said, let's start on our project. I'm going to tell you guys I got so lucky because my husband was getting rid of some plywood and I got his plywood. So I have two pieces of plywood here that I'm sanding very, very uh, thoroughly. I don't want to have any major grooves in them. I also printed out two pictures. One is our vacation picture and it's in color. The other one, no, it is not me, but I found this beautiful bride with her, with her horse and that is in black and white. I am also going to use two different mediums. The Mod Podge, and I'm gonna use it on the black and white, and Liquidex, which is my favorite, and that's what I always use for my picture transfers. And I always feel that it works a little bit better, uh, but, um, you know, we'll see. I wanted to compare it couple of things that I wanted to mention when you're going to do the picture transfer onto wood you are going to get a mirror image of the picture so just keep that in mind know that it matters usually it really doesn't matter also the picture needs to be printed on the copy paper which is very thin you don't use cardstock don't use photo paper it's not gonna work it has to be just plain Xerox paper and here you can see I'm just taking and I'm going to drench that picture and Mod Podge. And we're going to see how that's going to work. You want to make sure that there's so much of it that almost the, the, the paper is getting wet. And I know that there are some of you guys that don't have plywood laying around. Do keep in mind that Home Depot and Lowe's do get rid of their scraps. So if you go to the back of the store, there is usually a bin with all scraps that they're going to be tossing. And for the most part, they will let you go through it and take the, those pieces for free. So that's an option for this project for sure. So now the Mod Podge is on and it's really well covered. You can see how flimsy my paper is because it's drenched in it. And you're just gonna put it right in the middle of your plywood. You can still move the picture so that if you don't get it in the center, right off the bat, don't worry about it. And now you just have to make sure that any bubbles that are there or globs of, of glue kind of are smoothed out because you want to make sure that every piece of that ink is touching the wood. I used the roller here, but I opted not to do it later on. I feel that I had um, a better luck just using my hands. And now here is my other picture, my color picture, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the Liquidex gel. And uh, you can totally see that the consistency of the gel is completely different. It's almost like um, thick paint, maybe even Vaseline. It's, it's gel. So you're going to go go ahead and do exactly the same thing. Just drench it in that. And we're going to follow exactly the same procedure. We're going to flip it around and I'm going to going to put the picture side down onto the plywood. You want to make sure not to get any uh, gel or Mod Podge on the other picture on top of the paper because it's going to be very hard to remove it that way. And you will see it in a minute what I mean. But the procedure is the same, just roll out all the air bubbles. Okay, so I left it out for 12 hours, not 24 hours, and now it's time to remove the paper. So you want to wet it as much as you can. So I'm using my sponge. Please do not use the scrubby part of the sponge. What am I doing? I have no idea. Please do as I say, not as I do, <laughs> because that's not the right thing to do. Actually, the right thing to do is just to take a piece of rug and make sure that it's wet and start scraping it off. So you can see that my paper is just drenched in water and just keep on going. And this gorgeous 
picture is coming to life. It really is such an amazing feeling when it's actually happening. The first time you're gonna do it, you will have this feeling, you're gonna be asking yourself, really, am I doing that? Really, really, is this happening? Yes, and it really is. This picture is just coming to life, I love it. Now, as I started taking it, uh, taking the paper off, I realized that, well, you know what? The wood grain really kind of distorted the dress of the bride. So I think that if you have a lot of white, like a white dress in this case, I think a smoother piece of wood would have been a better option. For example, the ones that they sell at Michael's and they don't have so much of grain showing, I think that would have been better. But she kind of looks kind of ghostly, you know? It's like she kind of disappears from the bottom and then she goes, there she is on top. And here is my second picture of my uh, mill and that's the colored one I left a wet rug on top of it just to start soaking it already and there you go you start scrubbing it off and it just takes time but just think about it this is basically not costing you anything and it is the neatest gift that you can gift to someone and you can see that there were a couple of bubbles that and the ink did not take it so I decided to do something that I haven't done before and that's to take uh, some green and just add color to it to fill in those uh, parts that are really really showing and it worked out actually fantastic so those were the bubbles and I'm certain of it now I'm going to do the trim so for that, I'm using black acrylic paint and a sponge and my fingers and, you know, me and sponging. Yep. If I have an opportunity of any sorts to do sponging, I will do sponging. <laughs> I love sponging. I think it just gives the neatest effect to any project. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to go all around and I want to show you guys sped up how it's going uh, how how it comes really to life because you have that edge going uh, around and you think to yourself that oh my gosh it's going to look just so lame but once you start uh, sponging it just comes to life and it starts looking beautiful I think using fingers also helps. You can, uh, if you don't have a sponge, fingers are great help in this. But look how different it looks when you cover the edges and you really bring the picture as the, the bride and the horse as the focal point. It just looks absolutely amazing. And again, you really are not spending money on that. It's all your work, really. And there you have it my friends what I tell you it looks amazing doesn't it so now you are just gonna finish the edges and I'm putting black around the edges here and it brings the whole picture together now in my other picture I mixed some black and burnt umber and I'm going to do exactly the same thing I'm gonna go all around with those two colors with the mix of those two colors and I'm gonna cover all the edges as well I'm telling you fingers are your friends in this project. I use fingers all the time. I'm not afraid to get dirty. <laughs> And there you have it. Now I'm just gonna paint the edges and I'm going to be done with this picture. Now, once everything was nice and dried, I used polyurethane from um, urethane, polyurethane <laughs> varnish and matte, clear matte 
to seal both of my pictures. Now they look very shiny, but once dried, it is not as shiny at all. So I'm doing it to both of them. Well, so what do you guys think? That was an easy project, wasn't it? And nobody would believe that you did it yourself and for almost next to nothing. I love picture transfers and I love to give them as gifts because they always give that awe effect. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, if this was your first time, you will subscribe because you love the project. And to all of you subscribers, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, my friends. Ta-ta!